good spot. I suppose I could. <laughs> guys I'm back with another video sorry it's been a while I uh, had a string of bad luck I wiped out and got a muscle contusion on my leg along with a bone bruise so I've been recovering and taking it easy a little bit so today I'm checking out Bendix Woods trail in Bendix Woods Park Indiana Woo. short trail it's under five miles I believe pretty easy Trail. I take my wife here since it's shorter and pretty easy, no real sustained climbing. It's well maintained. There's always a good bet in the area, South Bend area. If you've had a bit of rain, this is usually the trail that dries out first. A little bit of flow. Oh, that was awkward. I haven't been here for a while. There's a trail of very few features. A rock went off before in this tree that has become a big derelict. Oh, sorry about that. Can't even really get up in there anymore. It was hard before. Quick part. Got a couple spots in the trail where you have to cross the road. It's a fairly thickly wooded area. So it blocks out a lot of the sun and gives you a lot of roots to ride over. I'm sorry about that highway, it's pretty loud. The challenge of this trail isn't so much the trail itself, but how fast you dare to ride it. It's got a lot of twists and turns. Oh, watch my head. Oh, another tree down. I'm not going to be able to pick up this one. 
Maybe I can roll it? Oh yeah, watch my bike. Give him back a little today. A little bit of maintenance. Whoa. <laughs> Rotted. <clears throat> Doesn't want to roll anymore. <sighs> well, enough to ride by now. <sighs> All right. If that's out of the way, let's continue on. New brakes, they're grippy. Finally got my MT Trail Sport set Magura and uh, it's taking me a little bit to get used to there's oh, here's a rock garden Ooh. oh oh there we go these Maguras have a bit more modulation than I'm used to used to Shimano brakes where they have a quicker bite or these ease into it before it bites hard. So I'm sure I'll be appreciative on some faster downhill stuff, but it's taking some getting used to on trails like this. Where I have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then suddenly it bites. Nice skid. Whew. Yeah, so since there isn't that much climbing, there's still not much uh, descenting either. So really how fast you go on this trail is up to how well you can pedal and take cornering. Since it's a pretty short trail, you can go around this two, three times without much difficulty. This is a trail you have to keep your eyes posted out in front of you. Especially if you don't know the trails, turns. There can be trees down or roots in weird spots. And there's so much underbrush here, so wooded that it's, it is difficult to see what's ahead of you. Or around a turn, you can't see around turns. Oh, downhill section. Right. A little off camber there. very easy to take this trail for granted because it's really not too difficult but if you end up riding it fast those turns come up quick and it's tight i've known plenty of mountain bikers that clip their handlebars and crash pretty good because you're able to get a bit of speed and yeah if you just clip one of those trees there's a lot of tight spots it's kind of funny I usually avoid here because I don't find it as much of a fun challenge as other trails but oh, I'm going right now and I'm having a good time so it's all about what you put into it I think and uh, the road crossing. It's 
a pretty lively section. I enjoy coming through here. It's like a peninsula. Goes out to the park entrance and back. And it flows pretty well. There's a little bit of tech in between. It's a good time. Make that corner. Drop here, it's sneaky. Oh! Dang! Another tree. I'm not gonna be able to move this one. Does not want to let my bike go! Huh? I have no saw, so that one's gonna have to stay for now. We had a pretty windy storm two days ago, so imagine what that's causing all these down trees. Road crossing. Jump into another lively section. Wow. Double tap. That's tight. What's also pretty nice about this trail is since there's so much foliage here you don't really get any of the sand that most of the other trails suffer due to the nature of this region. Now the Michigan northern Indiana region the soil is very sandy but right here you get a lot of good dirt probably because of all the leaves that decompose here. So it's definitely a positive. Oh, another tight. Whew, that was very tight. Gotta be nimble. Isn't it? Get. Whoa! Uh, jump over that. You gotta watch on this trail. Get the rock garden go in the other direction. Oh. Right up the road a little bit and trail continues on to the right. And the last road crossings. Hey guys, that was Bendix Woods today. Uh, it was a little bit shorter of a video today. It's not a very long trail, but I'm just happy to be back out and you know sharing some videos with you. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and like, share, whatever. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.